Hey guys, I hope you're doing wonderful. My name is Megan, if you have not been here before. And today I'm gonna to talk to you guys all about the programs I use for my graphic design business. I wanted to talk about the programs I use to design my logos, to design websites, and overall manage my clients. There's so many programs out there, but I felt like these work the best for me. And I've learned about these programs through friends and research online, and they have been a huge help in my personal business. I'm very excited to get into this video. If you guys like this video, I would appreciate it so much if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I've been hearing around the block that you need to click that little bell if you wanna know when I do upload. So if you wanna hit that too, very much appreciated. But let's get into the video. So the first program I want to mention is Adobe Illustrator. I love Illustrator, it is my go-to program. And I know that it's a little bit more difficult to learn than Photoshop at first, but once you learn it, the capabilities on it are amazing. And for me, it's just something that is the smoothest for me to work on. And I use it mainly for logo design, but it's just an amazing program. And that is always my go-to. I'm on Illustrator every single day of the week. It's an amazing program. So Illustrator is my number one designing program. My second favorite designing program is Photoshop. And this is, Photoshop was actually the first program I used when I started getting into design because I minored in photography and I was really used to a lot of the tools it has on the Photoshop toolbar. Just overall, I was more comfortable with that. So that's originally where I was designing a lot of my logos and just a lot of graphics and everything like that. But then I was actually forced to learn Illustrator when I was working at a corporate job because that's what they mainly used for all of their graphics and all of their advertising. And so I literally had to learn Illustrator and I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to learn it because I don't think I'm ever going back to Photoshop when it comes to designing logos and anything really. So Illustrator is always my number one, but Photoshop's always there and it's an awesome program as well. A lot of the first programs I'm mentioning are Adobe. So the third program I wanna mention is Lightroom. I use Lightroom a lot for all of my Instagram posts and I do have a couple clients that I create Instagram posts for as well and I use Lightroom for their photos too. And I just love creating presets for different clients because then everything looks cohesive so that's my third favorite program and the one that i need to learn more about but i do have to use once in a while is adobe indesign i find indesign a little bit tougher for me to use but it is extremely handy if you're creating like magazines booklets or even just large format images i have had to use indesign it's just not my favorite um but it is an awesome program an amazing tool so definitely have that one on my computer at all times. One program that I have been asked to use by clients because they have it on their, on their computer and it's extremely user friendly is Adobe Spark. And Adobe Spark is similar to Canva to me because it has like templates already made for you and it's super easy to just edit, add text on top of an image and I definitely recommend it for clients that want to eventually take the work into their own hands. It's definitely an awesome tool where you can just create a template for them or create images for them and they can put like a quote on top of it. It's also really awesome for creating some video if your client needs a video done. So I definitely don't use it all the time because it is not very um, customizable. A lot of the templates are there for you and there's just not a whole lot you can do with it. So, but it is awesome tool for any of your clients that need to do work in-house, so. And the last designing platform that I use is Procreate. Procreate is amazing. I just recently got more into Procreate because I didn't have an iPad, but luckily my sister had an old iPad and I have a very old version of Procreate, but it is amazing. It allows you to draw over any images or draw your own images, create your own font, create anything you want. It's just a really awesome illustrating program. So if you are wanting to create your own designs, your own graphics, your own icons, your own fonts, definitely get Procreate because you can get the pen and 
from what I've heard from my friend Abby, the Apple Pen is way better than any knockoff pen. I have a knockoff pen and it does the job for now, but definitely in the future I want to invest in a new iPad and a newer pen. Okay, moving into website design. And for website design, I have gone through so many hosting platforms. And if you know website design, I'm sure you know what I mean. There's lots of hosting platforms out there. I've experienced probably the worst of the worst and the best of the best, I think, right now. So I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite hosting platforms that I use. And my original very favorite was Bluehost, but it just got so popular and so overcrowded that I felt like my website was really slow and customer service slowed down a little bit, but Bluehost, it's still pretty awesome. So my second favorite hosting platform is SiteGround. And thanks to my friend Abby, she introduced me to SiteGround and it's amazing. Their customer service is on top of it. And they also have a referral program, which is amazing but it's also just like easy to use and simple and I like how it makes my websites fast. So it's the number one thing I like about that. But I also have used Reseller Club and it's not a bad hosting platform, it's actually pretty good. So that's the hosting platforms, but when it comes to the actual design of the website, it really depends. I have a client I work for that I designed it on Photoshop and they have a person that develops it for them. So I have a client, I just design it for them and then they do whatever and turn it into a WordPress website. But I always use WordPress when I'm designing the website myself. It's just like nice to be able to deliver that to the client and if they wanna take it into their own hands, they can definitely edit it in-house. So with WordPress, I have found so many amazing themes on themeforest.com or .net, I can't remember. But Theme Forest has a lot of really, really good themes. But I also use Divi, and Divi is just super easy to use and very customizable. You can do like anything with it. So Divi is awesome, um, but I do like finding some really cool, unique themes on Theme Forest as well. Um, but yeah, I've also used like I've edited sites for clients like Wix, Squarespace, things like that. But I. I personally stick to like WordPress and just finding a really awesome theme to edit off of that. Okay, now moving into the programs I use to manage my clients and my personal business. And the first program I want to mention is Dubsado. I use Dubsado. I know a lot of designers use Dubsado. A lot of entrepreneurs use, use Dubsado. And it's an awesome tool to project manage because it lays your programs or your projects out perfectly. It lays out your income perfectly and what you currently have gotten paid and I love the fact that it also has templates built in so you can send contracts and invoices and it even allows you to create client portals if you have a long-term client and you want them to sign in and see all the projects in process and see the ones that have been paid. I can't even say enough about this program because it has so many options and ways to manage everything going on in your business. It also has an analytic area where you can see how much you made the previous month and the current month. It's amazing. I'm getting more into how to like set up payment reminders and set up all the different things that are automated because that is something I really, really need to do in my business and maybe I will show you guys how I do that and how I set that all up. So. Stay tuned for that. Also, within Dubsado, you can set up Stripe or PayPal, I believe. But I use Stripe, and I use that mainly because it just goes directly into my debit account, and it's really quick. It's turnaround is like two days, I believe, when I get paid. So I like Stripe a lot. It does have a fee. It takes a little bit of money every time I make money, but it's a very low amount compared to some of the other programs out there. Okay guys, the last program I wanted to mention is something I more recently have gotten into, but I am rebranding my whole personal business and it's gonna launch at the end of this year. I'm very excited about that. But I have been trying to find different ways and systems of how to deliver my work to my clients because I want it to look professional, I want it to look nice, and I want them to feel like they're getting a nice package of designs. So I have been using Envision and I, I used this with a client a long time ago where we just like upload program or we upload documents and they can leave notes on there. You could download things straight from there and I just thought it was awesome and easy to use. 
So I have been using Envision to deliver my um, style guides and my logos and you can put all file types on there and they can download it directly from that page and they just have a, a link like a personal link that you can send them and they can see everything on there and I love it because it just like keeps all my projects consolidated into one area and I'm able to see what I did for each client in one little dashboard so I love it because it also delivers it in a very clean minimal and professional way so I'm definitely going to keep implementing Envision into my personal business but yeah those are all the programs I currently use in my personal business with graphic design and overall just managing clients it's so important to find a system that works for you and that works for your clients and just helps you stay organized so I really hope you guys enjoyed this I hope it helped you out and if you have any questions on any of the programs I use let me know down in the comments and I will happily answer anything so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day week evening whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys next time thanks guys